Hey, all you Forexers out there, thanks for tuning in to Forex Formula Radio once again. If you're here for the first time, welcome. This is a place for real estate professionals to get exclusive content that works in sync with our Forex Formula real estate course with the ultimate goal of creating the dream real estate business. In order to reach higher levels in income in any occupation, more often than not, it's compulsory that a certain level of education or a certain degree be obtained. Given that we become licensed real estate professionals fairly easily, you know what I mean? Like we order up the course, we take a licensing course that can be completed in three to 12 months at a cost under $2,000 and we can do it part time by correspondence while making income for our households. And then once we're licensed, we have the opportunity to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's really no ceiling. Do you think that's fair? That, it, that, it, that it's fair that we still have some education that needs to be obtained in order to justify the income that we want to enjoy? It's unavoidable. So I am officially granting you enrollment in Adversity University. Hi, I'm Kelly Johnston, founder of the Forex Formula. And the big question is this, how are real estate agents like us able to create a constant stream of commissions and a constant stream of leads while enjoying life without wasting big budgets on branding, without working crazy hours, without worrying where the next deal's coming from in today's real estate market? This podcast is here to reveal the answers. My brother works for a public company that does business all over the world. He has moved up to the ranks to the highest level that he could achieve. So in his mid 40s, he went back and achieved his executive MBA for business. Now, he and I are very similar in many ways, but one difference is our intellectual levels. He is simply very high and mine is quite a bit lower, <laughs> but that's okay. I just have a different mind than his and I'm okay with it. I'm very proud of my brother for achieving that. The reason he paid a lot of money and went through that grueling course while working in his job for a large company sacrificially for two years was because he knew that he was basically capped out on what he can earn. I don't know much about the corporate world, but what I do know is that the CEOs and the CFOs and the COOs and all of those O's have to be accountable to the shareholders that they serve. Now, they earn really good incomes, but there are accountability measures that need to be met so that everything kind of holds up to the scrutiny when they report to the shareholders. Steve simply did not have any digits behind his name that would support him being qualified to move up to a larger role in the company nor did he have the education. He was well qualified for sure with his years of service and the obstacles that he helped the company overcome over the years, but the proof of the appropriate level of education had to be achieved in order for him to make a jump. Now, if you've been listening for a while, uh, you'll know that I've faced a lot of adversity throughout my real estate career, maybe more than most. But as I look back on that, I think that was important to get me ready for what I'm doing now with the Forex Formula Real Estate Mastery Course. After sorting through all of the confusion and experiencing the pain and all the personal struggles and surviving the financial losses and the heartache and disappointments of business failures and all my own mistakes kind of kicking me in the butt, I now know the purpose that all of that served. And I believe that it's to benefit you, the listener. While you're going through it, it really sucks. There were days when I felt like I just didn't want to get out of bed. There were days when I wanted to succumb to it all, but I kept going. And eventually I came out on the other side. The University of Adversity is a good place. It's not a bad place. It's a place, it's a place where you get to know the true you, where you get a clear understanding of what you are capable of, where you actually get a master's degree in human nature. You will learn about yourself, the things that you never would have learned had you not attended Adversity University. The benefits far outweigh the pain. Now, having said all that, I don't want you to waste 17 years like I did. I have the systems, the plan, the how-tos, and everything laid out for you with tools to help you implement those systems. But hear me on this, that doesn't take away all of the challenges that you're going to face. 
We can't predict everything. It's silly to to believe that I can arm you against every single circumstance, but we do cover a lot. We do provide shortcuts. We do provide the direction. We do provide the path. We do provide the backpack of tools, but sometimes the trail will be hard. There will be times when you're going to have to dig in to make it up the hill and, and you have to be committed. And that's where you step in. But in doing so, you're going to gain the following. The biggest thing is you're going to gain belief. You're going to gain more knowledge. You're going to increase your currencies, the value that you can provide to others, more experience, more money, limited only to your beliefs and goals, the ability to relate to more people, increase your conversion rates on leads and people that you come into contact with. It's going to get easier. And the great thing is when it gets easier, it actually gets easier. In other words, you will be worthy of the success that you will enjoy and have the character to avoid squandering it away. You'll have fantastic relationships and enjoy the dream business. I want that for you. Here's a story that you may have heard, but it illustrates the importance of attending Adversity University. A man was walking in the park one day when he came upon a cocoon with a small opening. He sat and he watched the butterfly for several hours as it was struggling to force its body through the little hole. But then it it seemed to stop making any progress. It looked like it had gotten as far as it could. So the man decided to help the butterfly. He used his pocket knife and snipped the remaining bit of the cocoon. The butterfly then emerged easily, but something was strange. The butterfly had a swollen body and shriveled wings. The man continued to watch the butterfly because he expected At any moment, the wings would enlarge and expand to be able to support the body, which would contract in time. Neither of those things happened. In fact, the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a swollen body and deformed wings. It was never able to fly. What the man, in his kindness and haste, did not understand was that restricting the cocoon and the struggle required for the butterfly to emerge was natural. It was nature's way of forcing fluid from its body into the wings so that it would be ready for flight once it achieved its freedom. Sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our lives. If we're not allowed to go through life without any obstacles, we would be crippled. We would not be as strong as what we could have been and we could never fly. History has shown us that the most celebrated winners usually encountered heartbreaking obstacles before they triumph. They won because they refused to become discouraged by their defeats. Thomas Edison tried over 2,000 experiments before he was able to get his light bulb to work. Upon being asked how he felt about his failings so many times, (laughs) he replied, I never failed once. I invented the light bulb. It just happened to be a 2,000 step process. (laughs) (laughs) What a great answer. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, elected president of the United States for four terms, had been stricken with polio at the age of 39. In 1927, the head instructor of the John Murray Anderson Drama School instructed student Lucille Ball to try another profession, anything other than that. (laughs) Buddy Holly was fired from the... um, Decca record label in 1956 by Paul Cohen, Nashville artist and repertoire man. Cohen called Holly the biggest no talent I've ever worked with. Academy Award winning writer, producer and director Woody Allen failed motion picture production at New York University and City College of New York. He also flunked English at NYU. I love this one though. Helen Keller, the famous blind author and speaker said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Silver is purified in fire, and so are we. It is in the most trying times that our real character is shaped and revealed. That's awesome. I love that saying. This little excerpt uh, was from an email list that I was on called the Monday Morning Motivator from Drago Adam. I just want to give him the props for that. So does that mean that they didn't have a little pity party once in a while? Does that mean that they didn't need a little time to lick their wounds? Of course, we're all human. But the difference is how you react and approach challenges. 
The struggle is what gives us power. Just because you make a a decision to get focused, create new habits, get yourself on the path of success, begin filling your brain with good, nourishing information and material, plan your business and work the plan, set goals and create a solid and fleshed out why to help you propel forward, learn all of the best practices to master your craft, literally do all the right things to move yourself forward in a positive way. Does that mean negative things won't happen? No, they will. It's guaranteed. These are the tests. These are the exams. These are the pop quizzes that come from the University of Adversity. If you don't graduate from the University of Adversity, you'll end up like that butterfly that can't spread its wings. You will literally be stifled and stunted. And the funny thing is, when we go through a challenge or a setback, we think that is what is stifling us at the time. We think that is the blockage to our success, the wall, to give you a visual. It's not. It's just an obstacle, something to get over, something to overcome. Even if you have to start again, you'll do it better. I did in three years what I couldn't do in 17 years. You bounce back way stronger, way smarter, way faster each time. I want to encourage you to never give up, ever. When you give up, you know the result, right? It's absolute. If you're going in the wrong direction, if you're going in a direction that's wrong, it's okay to stop. Start over. Go in a different direction. Don't assimilate that to giving up. I don't want to confuse you with that. That's way different. You see the power in that? Whether you like it or not, it's not a choice. It's not me who enrolls you in the University of Adversity, by the way. You are already attending it. Now, you can avoid going to class. A lot of people do. You can skip the lessons. That's easy. Find something easy and predictable. No problem. There's lots of jobs out there, but that's not you. You're in it to win it. You're in it to win it. You are here to win. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, right? Can I make that assumption? Step into the masterclass and let's win together. Go to forexformula.com right now. Get on the waiting list. It's free. It doesn't cost anything to get on the waiting list. Get on the waiting list. And I hope you stick with me and let's transform the real estate industry together in two ways. Let's eliminate real estate poverty and let's create a new persona to the general public and get out of that top 10 least trusted professionals list. Oh my goodness. Are you with me? I hope you found this chat good today. I hope you found value in what we talked about today. Um, And just stick with me. Keep coming back on a weekly basis. And um, I just really hope we can give you lots of value. Go out there and make a great day. I appreciate you. Take care. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that last episode. Here's the reality that you may or may not know. The top 20% of real estate agents take home 80% of the money out there, while the bottom 80% are fighting over 20% of the scraps that are left. Do you have a desire to be in the top 20%? If you're working hard and not sustainably making six figures of income and beyond, the problem is not you, it's your system. I struggled for years until one day the light bulb came on and I figured out how to simplify the real estate business. If you want to learn my secrets that anyone can implement immediately that I still use every day that pays me multiple six figures every year, go to 4xformula.com right now. That's 4xformula.com. The number 4xformula.com. 